The northwest corner of the United States is home to the most diverse climates and scenery in the country. Here one finds snow-capped mountains, dormant and active volcanoes, hot high plain deserts, and rich agricultural areas. The northwest is also home to the Columbia River Gorge, a long, wide, flat water river passage that provides a gentle climb from the tidewater ports near Portland, Oregon to the inland agricultural regions of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. In Volume 1, we trace the BNSF Fallbridge subdivision east along the Washington side of the river from Vancouver, Washington to the arid desert mountains near the John Day Dam. Now in Volume 2, we have jumped across the river to head back west toward Portland following the Union Pacific's Portland subdivision mainline on the Oregon shore. Starting near the John Day Dam, we will head west, visiting many of the region's best rail fanning spots, such as Salilo Park, the Dalles, Memaloo State Park, and its rail fanning gem, the Mount Hood Scenic Railroad. We will also see barges and BNSF freights across the river as they all compete for traffic in this viable transportation corridor. We'll continue west through the Viento State Park area to Wyeth, Bonneville Dam and down to the spectacular Multnomah Falls. At Troutdale, the main line splits into two routes to Portland and we will visit the junction there before heading into the city to conclude our tour of the Columbia River Gorge. We dig into some older footage to show you Chicago and Northwestern power, which once frequented the gorge. You'll also see Amtrak's Pioneer before it was discontinued. The scenery is breathtaking. Rail fanning doesn't get any better than this. Don't miss this exciting adventure in Columbia River Gorge, Volume 2. Union Pacific's Portland subdivision. Visit Pentrax on the World Wide Web at www.pentrax.com.